Hello and welcome to Flashback Generations. Hiya. It's not often that Pete and I waggle or dance, but today that's exactly what we will be doing. What is it? This game is a definitive worker placement, a B worker placement. You roll dice and you put it down to the area that you want to actually try and get something done. Uh, your, your objective is to try and collect as many points as possible. Which, make honey, isn't it? Yeah, making honey, honey, which are the points basically. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, that's done through a predetermined uh, objective. Basically. Yeah, there, there's a, a regular schedule that you go through in process. It's, uh... What do you get? The components for this game are uh, oh, dice, bees, dice, 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 dice uh, which are okay. And plastic dice with a B, um, B for a one and one number one. Uh, and then you get these cubes for the flowers and cards. Lots of cards, uh, which are. It's a nice little compact game, little box. Yeah, yeah. All packs away. Um, I, I, I'm not going to. Uh, you can't slate the game for what it is. It's trying to be as uh, kind of a family friendly, quick, fun, representative game. The artwork's okay. I mean, again, it's, cute, it's sort isn't of. It? It's cute art. It represents what it's trying to do, so mm -hmm. every card kind of has a, has a fundamental design on it to try and uh, stimulate your brain to go this is what it does so you know oh put two two uh d two numbers here of the same thing and then you can make it into something else so everything is kind of very fundamentally uh, taken in a way to try and make you understand even the flower pattern here is trying to make you see it in a kind of like uh, a flower bee theme way yeah yeah so um you know as as a theme and as a game it's uh, pretty easy um pretty easy on the eye uh, I, I would think cost point. It's a nice, it's an easy one to get one. hold of, isn't it? It's an easy one to get hold of. It's it's quite easy to understand. You take your beer and you say, I want to do that, and then somebody else goes, oh, I want to do that. But yeah. when those spaces are gone, you can't do that. So but it's getting in first. Kind number of for number, so a four goes on the four, yeah. and then you know. So the uh, the only war element to this game actually is coming from looking at other people's numbers. And did ever did Pete roll out of fours? Well, I'll take that four yeah, because then he can't take it. So there's a bit of a competition for this one. And that's it. it. All right. Well, let's uh, talk about the game in depth. Is it any good? This is a really family friendly game, uh, which is a really great thing about it. Yeah. Uh, it's not overly complex, and it's quite hard the only way to really kind of mess with people is through your your deck and uh, as i just mentioned but about, given that it's deep as well it can be deep i mean we, we yeah. had four experienced people playing it didn't we and uh, it's very tense towards the end of the game as people try to outmaneuver each other and get that last thing they needed yeah it was, it was really good what you can see is everyone actually has this um uh, this is one of the few games i've ever played where no one talks to each other. You're all just engrossed. So what did you roll? You know, but you're got, watching everybody else. You've got your little pile of dice, and you're like, right, that's what I have. Yeah. That's what he has. What's he going to do? And so, you know, what will start happening in later game is you, you'll take, you need, you need that purple one, but someone else will decide they need the purple one more, so they'll put two dice down by it. And then oh, that's how it works. Yeah, whoever's got the most dice on, on, on these gets to collect some. So, um, yeah, you so get more than of, other people. It, it's... it's Kind of poker esque, isn't it? Really, isn't it, it is. This is this is a, a pretty easy game of, um, you know, showing your hand earlier to people. Yeah. Um, you get one opportunity to pass, and you, you know, uh, it's got a nighttime, daytime cycle. Daytime, you're doing all your activities. Nighttime, uh, you're you're taking everything. And yeah, and hatching eggs and producing yeah. new bees and all that sort of thing. Um, rules wise, it's actually quite an easy game to just kind of. Put on the table, explain to people what we're doing. After one round, everyone should really have the hang of it. Yeah. Especially round one, you can't actually do anything wrong. You, 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 you're kind of forced to go on, just do things. You know, try yeah, and hatch yeah. bees. Having more bees isn't a bad thing. So you know, you, you can't really make mistakes. Now, as the game goes on, you start learning the tactics and what you should be trying to do. But saying that, it's actually only so deep as well. It, there's only so yeah. many. So many games you can play this before you go. I'm a master of this game. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's, there, there's, uh, there's no random, there's no random. Well, there's a little slight random. That, that, there's the upgrade deck, isn't there? There's yeah, still cards, yeah. The, um, you know, you, there's, there's a reason that this isn't trying to be, uh, you know, a world uh, to compete with chess or whatever. No, um, there's too much like d dice rolling in this game is very random, um, which kind of can hamper you and and cost you. Uh, I, I think it's a really nice little game. 
as, as we layer. mentioned. Yeah, it's great. Uh, Expansion-wise? I don't know what you'd, how you'd expand this, I've no clue. More of these cards, maybe? It's, it's quite a small, compact game. Yeah. There's no board as such. What, what I think is missing a little bit from this game is I, I would kind of like a, another phase, like a war phase of some sort. You should have uh, your soldier bees. Yeah. You know, it's sort of, you know I'm saying, if you're going to put an expansion into it, that's yeah. what I'd kind of like to see. I, I want to see. The Armageddon. Maybe like maybe that. another another one of these, and that's controlling your, and then you've got a different type of yeah. bee. Yeah. Maybe. I don't it does, know. It doesn't fit with the... It's kind of quite kid-friendly. Well, kids love a good fight, don't they? But uh, it, I don't know. I think it's kind of quite self-contained. Maybe there is an expansion on the way. I don't know, but... I don't think it needs one, really. Every game I play... Maybe just some more cards. Some, you know, different ways of interfering or increasing your own chances or interfering with other players. Every, every game I play that played with this, everyone has pretty much been able to win the game at the same time. Yeah. Just about. It's very close, isn't it? So... That's um, why it gets tense. There's something in this in the game mechanics themselves that actually mean that you know it, that that happens. Yeah, and that last few turns in that game, we were all furiously the brains were working, weren't they? How can I get this in one turn rather than two turns <laughs> to make it? And it, it gets very um, yeah squeaky at the end. Is it a competitive game? Yeah, well, well sort of. Yeah, because you're trying to get there first, aren't you? Or, or uh, no, you're trying to amass the most honey. Isn't honey, it? yeah. 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 So it does a count up at the end. Um, I think you could put do a tournament of it. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, the, yeah these, I think you could. <laughs> I think a tournament would be difficult because you're going to have someone who's going to be like, I'm. If someone gets bullied out, you know. Someone that's, keeps on getting this. That's, you're that's not life, playing. It's life. Yeah, I don't think it works. <clears throat> it's, it's, uh, but I don't think it's geared to that. Or you know, that's not no. what they were thinking when they wrote it. So. No, no, I agree. It's it's a good fun game though. It's almost as if it's like for younger players to sort of develop strategy, think strategic thinking, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. A bit. And yeah, it's it's just good, and it's quite different than anything else I've seen recently. You know, there's <coughs> yeah, it's, it's a lovely little game. I love it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I guess nothing else to say about it. I I think um, if you're looking to play uh, with people 12 plus I think it's a really yeah, yeah. good kind of age there you know to just really get people's brains motivated um, is it number crunching probably to a degree Not slightly yeah yeah there's, there's, <coughs> I, I you need to be good at your three times table for memory or two times table um, one or the other yeah. there's a lot of statistics I think involved with like how are you gonna do uh, you know you'd roll this term but you kind of know you, pre-planning and that's it, yeah. for so the you, future yeah, that you, sort of happens yeah so there's a, a random element to it because you don't know what your bees are going to produce in terms of numbers um, some of the diagrams aren't amazing for uh, when you're playing your first few games you'll be looking at things like this and going I wonder what that means you know and it's got like two blocks moved on to a yellow hexagon equals a, a dice with a star on and you do have to refer back to the rules leaflet and it is only a leaflet it's yeah. just what does this mean and then it tells you in text you know what if you put a dice there, this is what you're going to be able to do with it later on when the night yeah, falls. Yeah. So some of the diagrams are uh, slightly cloudy, but you get the hang of it after a game. I, I agree. We, we, we're we guilty of actually definitely mis, uh, misrepresenting a few little rules here and there. But, yeah. but you know, nothing serious. And it, but no, we're still friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we can still enjoy honey together, can't we? Indeed. <laughs> All right. Cheers for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Cheerio. Bulls on.